Cattle farmers are also starting to look overseas. This is a massive ranch in Gumma Prefecture with 5,000 cattle. We raise them here until they're about 28 months. There's a reason for their focus on export markets. Tsuyoshi Kato has been shipping top-ranked Wagyu, but says differentiation with other products is becoming difficult. Cattle raising techniques in Japan have improved, and there's a lot of marbled beef on the market. Too much to be consumed domestically. The supply is too big now. Wagyu is a label given only to cattle raised under strict breeding rules. But with the improvement of breeding techniques, there are now more than 220 cattle brands nationwide jostling for consumers. So now they're seeking out new markets abroad. There are registration certificates for each cow. Yes. Each certificate has a muzzle print, similar to a human fingerprint. They say cattle managed under such strict rules can command high prices overseas. We're confident that once our meat reaches the export market, consumers will try it. As the domestic market shrinks, Zeno is exploring ways to expand exports. The EU is another huge market in their sights. We're hoping to start exports to the EU soon. They expect final authorization for their factories to be granted in the near future. The appetite for high-end Wagyu in Japan will undoubtedly shrink. The three key markets will be the U.S., Hong Kong, and Southeast Asia, centered on Singapore, also the EU. With beef a major sticking point in the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade talks, will Wagyu lead the way for Japanese farmers?